All right, I gotta show you something because there's absolutely no excuse for not being rich. So right now I'm in San Diego. I'm staying here at the at the Marriott, and look at this. Uh, this uh, the view here, really nice view. There's a pool. Anyhow, I want to show you what's even more impressive. So right behind me, there's the there's the marina. Can you see all these boats there? I mean, look at this. Okay, so I I, I was just standing here on the balcony and did a little bit of math because I was thinking I don't know much about these motorboats. As you know, my kids are sailors, so I don't know much about these motorboats. What do you think? How much does one of these uh, little motor yachts? A hundred thousand? Two hundred thousand? I mean, okay, let's let's be on the low side. I think it will be more than a hundred thousand, but let's just think. It's a hundred thousand dollars. Now I, I counted a little bit earlier on one of these these fingers here that is going out. On one side there's twenty boats, and on the other side there's another twenty boats. So twenty on one side means twenty times a hundred thousand, two million dollars. Twenty on the other side means another two million dollars. So this means four million dollars, assuming that I'm right that a boat here, one of these boats costs a hundred thousand dollars or probably more. Now let's see. Look back there. There's one finger, four million, eight million. 12 million, 16 million, 20 million, uh, let's see, 24, 28, 32, 30, 36 million dollars, 40 million dollars, probably right here, just right here in front of the hotel. Now, let's think about it. I mean, these people who have these, these motorboats, who have these yachts, what do you think? Were they born rich? I don't think so. To be honest, I think that out of all these yachts, and again, there's, uh, what, 40, I don't know, hundreds down there. I want to say maybe 10 of them might be born rich. Right, that they had rich parents, trust fund kids. What about the others? What, what do you think? How many of them are being famous? Maybe another ten that are being famous for being a, a sports star or a, I don't know, a movie star. I don't think it's that many. I honestly believe that most of these people who own these yachts are self-made millionaires. So this means that they have found a way to get wealthy. And honestly, I don't think it's that difficult. After all, this is America. I mean, think about it. Is there any other country in the world where it is easier to become a millionaire than America? I don't think so. And uh, I mean, take it from me. I'm an immigrant. <laughs> you know, I'm German. I came from Germany. One of the reasons why I came here to the United States is because I realized it is way easier to make a lot of money here in the United States than it is in Germany. Trust me on this one. So anyhow, I, I titled this video, What's Your Excuse? Because when you look at this, you see that there's plenty of money out there and obviously there's plenty of people who have figured out how to make money are all of these people lucky no are there some who are lucky who i don't know stumbled on some invention maybe but it's a very small percentage so if i think about percentage i think maybe three percent of the people who own these hundred thousand plus dollar yachts by the way if you know how much these yachts cost leave it in the comments i'm just curious Anyhow, so maybe 3% of them inherited money. Maybe 3% of them are being famous. Maybe 3% of them are being lucky by, by winning the lottery or something like this. So this makes 9%. The other 91% are probably people like you and I. Probably people who are, um, I mean, all sorts of skin color, all sorts of age, all, all sorts of, I mean, men, women. I mean, I, I bet, I bet that there's quite a few of these yacht owners here who are high school dropouts. Uh, there's quite a few who haven't even finished college. I'm sure, I'm sure. Because that's a beautiful thing. When you work hard and you acquire a skill and you learn something, you can get wealthy. And you know that I personally like to do it in two ways, by trading and investing in real estate. And I don't think it is rocket science. I honestly don't, and I want to prove it to you. Uh, I have a website, it's called mytradingroutine.com. And when you go there to this website, mytradingroutine.com, you'll see a video that plays automatically that shows you exactly how, how I personally trade. So anyhow, long story short, there's no excuse for you not to get rich and own one of these yachts. By the way, you know how much these slip fees are? If you know, leave it in the comments. So go to mytradingroutine.com and check out how to make money with trading, because it is possible. And it's not that difficult. Hope this helps, and I'll talk to you soon.